Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well today I know I'm a little bit late with this video but I actually wanted to film it with my sister. Uh, she couldn't uh, find time to film with me and we are definitely going to do some videos together but not this one. Maybe if you're interested let me know down below. But I wanted us to do like our fav twins favorite product of 2019. If you want to see th what my twin sister thinks please let me know down below. Try to convince her to come back to my channel. We are planning to make a vid some videos together but I really want to film more together with her. Please let her know down below that you're interested to see us two together. But here today I have a lot of products that I've been using a lot last year and that I really like. I'll def I have definitely forgot some of them but this is something that I when I think about my favorites they immediately come to my brain and I just want to share this with you. If you want to see what are my favorite products of 2019, then please keep on watching. Okay, it, I have a, this is choking me and I have a very bad hair day. Today I tr I'm trying out the new Dre shampoo and it gives me like white cast everywhere. So if you see that, that is what it is. But I'm here today to talk about the product that I'm using a lot last year that I've been loving. And uh, I don't know where to start. Um, I'm not going to talk about face creams or skincare products because there are a lot of products that I've tried last year. So if you're interested to hear more about the skincare products, please let me know down below. But this is all makeup, maybe one skin product, maybe just one. But everything else is makeup product related. So if you want to see more about skin products, um, please let me know. Skincare products, please let me know down below. But let's start. I'm talking already too much and I already haven't started talking about the product itself. So let's go and try to kind of make it from base with the primer. Now, the one primer that I've been using a lot last year that I really love and repurchase is this Hourglass Ville. Um, primer. I love, 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 love this primer. This is going to be always my staple, something that I will never be without. I really love this product. It really makes my face smooth, makes my makeup look very good and stay on the whole day. It doesn't make my makeup look cakey or anything. I just love, love this product and I really swear by it, stand by it. And I feel like it's something that everybody should try out. It's one of the best primers ever and I've tried a lot of them. I can make you a video with all of the um, I, face primers that I have because I still have them. Uh, but if you haven't tried this one I really really suggest you do that. It is expensive but it's worth money. Now I did actually got one of uh, one primer from my sister for my birthday. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip primer. This is a very, very good primer. Now I've used a lot of it and I'm trying to use um, a little bit less because I want to make it last longer. But I really like this primer. Sorry guys, I don't know what's happening, but my camera eats my battery, so I had to change my battery. Where was I? This foundation has been out there for a long time. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is a very, very good foundation. I really, really like it. And I can definitely see myself repurchasing it over and over again. It's very good foundation. So these three foundations are right now one of my favorite foundations, but these kind of foundations. But the best cushion foundation I've tried this year, it's from, uh, let's see, the Shiseido. This is a Shiseido. This is the Skin Self Refreshing Cushion Compact Foundation. Sashado. Sashado, can't pronounce it right now. What's happened with me? I love this foundation. Uh, this is a very good foundation. It's magical. Somehow it, somehow it really refreshes itself. It's a very good foundation. Now I've used up this product. I need to repurchase it again. I can't find the actual package for it anywhere. They do sell the refills but they don't sell the package itself which where you like storage this one so that's really strange uh, but i really like this foundation and it's really 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 good so i do recommend i'm curious to try the bottle and maybe i'll buy that one and try it because i really like it and this shade 220 linen 
linen, it really works for me, so I do, do like it. Definitely can see myself repurchasing it. Now we can discuss face powders. I do love like Laura Mercier, I do like Jeffree Stars, I do like um, an Ikea Joyce powder that I tried out. I do like many powders, but something that was my staple, something I really used a lot last year, it is the Huda Beauty setting powder. Now Cupcake is one of my favorites that I just emptied. I really like that one. That one was the one that I've used a lot, but I just still have the sugar cookie. I like, really like the, this powder and I can see myself repurchasing it. I'm not going to do so because I have one here and have a lot of other powders. This one is very good. I really, really like this powder. So if you haven't tried Huda Beauty product, you do that. It doesn't have a like a perfumey scent to it. I don't think it's too strong, but some people can find it too strong. Um, but it doesn't stay on my face. That's how I feel. But I do like it. Now, the products for the application of the foundation. That is one thing I forgot. Or applying the powders. For the foundation, best foundation brush for me is the Morphe and Jeffree Star collab. Uh, it's dirty. I've been using it. But this is one of the best. Um, brushes that I've tried for the foundation that really works. Then two sponges, two favorite sponges. It's Nikia Joyce. These are the best, the best sponges ever. They replaced my beauty blender. Another brand that sells wonderful um, sponges is the In Stylish. So I do have a coupon code. Um, it's DD5. On their website um, I will link the video up here or the link down below so you can check it out and see the code and where you can order it they are very uh, they are affordable I think they are around eight nine dollars for two sponges these two are very good sponges and I can't see my see myself repurchasing the beauty blender because I love Nikia Joyce and I do love it stylish uh, sponges and I do have them like a backup here at home. So when I need to throw these away, I have new sponges. I like them. So I definitely, definitely recommend them to invest in these sponges. Before we go into the bronzers, I need to show you this product. This is from Huda Beauty. Uh, this is called Tantor and I have in shade light. Cream, uh, cream contour and bronzer. This is what I have on my face today. This is one of the best cream bronzers I've ever tried and I tried a couple of them not a lot but this is so creamy so good so easy to blend it's just it's just the best you need to try it if you haven't tried it you need to try it I use it with the Huda Beauty uh, Huda Beauty face and sculptor and shade brush it's dirty because I've used it today but this is what I've used together and these are perfect perfect couple this blend easy, this brush is easy to apply product with and this side I do blend it with. So, so, so good. I'll never be without this product. I think this is something that really makes my skin look nice, healthy. It blends so beautifully on top of the powder. It blends without setting your face also. It, it works under the powder, but it looks beautifully over the powder. It blends very nice. I've never had problem blending it. It blends very fast. So it, I do use it in the mornings when I get ready for the work, when I don't have enough, enough time because this is so easy to use. I just love this product. Then I do go on top of it. Uh, let's see, I need to just remove it. So I do go on top of it another bronzer. And bronzer I'll be liking is this Butter Bronzer Physici Physician's Formula. Uh, it's a very good one. I mean, it's one of, you know, one of the best bronzers ever. It smells good. It's very nice. Now I do have uh, left a uh, more product uh, in here. So I'm definitely going to use it this year. But also love, lovely, this hourglass. This is so dirty, so used. This is also one of the best bronzers ever. This is the Nude Bronzer Light, Ambient Light. I like, like, like this bronzer. So easy to... Um, build up to the shade that you want it's just so beautiful beautiful it gives me that nice healthy glow now another browser that i've kind of um, that i've tried last year 2019 is the benefit bronzer 
Lula bronzer and I actually got two palettes this one cheek leader palette I have both of them but I just took this one to show you this is one that I've used also a lot I love love every product in here I do use this to contour uh, these two bronze these two blushes I do mix them together and this cookie cookie highlighter is one of the best highlighters it's blinding it's beautiful one of the best highlighters I really like this palette and I'm glad that I have both of them I think uh, I, I did got a lot of use and definitely still using so I like that one of the most used concealer last year for me it's the Jeffree Star concealer now I do like Tarte tape shape I do like uh, Jouer's I do like other concealers but if I have to choose one this one is it's so light it's very easy to blend it's very easy to build up it's creamy it's nice and it's one of the best concealers ever so I'll definitely repurchase this one when I finish it up because it's so good. Blush. Except the cheerleader benefit palette. One blush that I told and I had it in one moment. I think I had it in my auntie haul, but I got it from 19's Love Child. She talked about this blush and I had to buy it. This is the uh, Natasha Denona Bloom Blush in Glow Palette. This is the blessed, best blush I've ever, ever tried. Guys, if you haven't tried this palette, you need to. Uh, I've used this so, so much. It's creamy. It's easy to blend. It's easy to build up. It works with almost every makeup that I've had on my face. It's so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this palette and I do use it a lot. I also use it in the morning where I need to finish my makeup fast and go out because it blends so beautifully on top of the powder. Even if I bake and set my face and go in with this, with a brush, it works so, so, so good. And it stays on the whole day. I love this palette. The only thing I don't use a lot in this palette, I use also this creamy glow. I also go on top with this one. This is like a peach. It's shimmery, a lot shimmery. But when I go on top with this, it just gives it another shift. Nice, healthy glow. So I do use that one. The only thing I don't use a lot is this highlighter up here because it's a very nice highlighter. I do use it sometimes, but it has, um, I don't know, I just feel like it has like a small parts of glitter that I don't really like. But I feel it's a good palette. Definitely something I recommend for you guys to buy. If you haven't tried it, it's so good. Okay, the other blush that I really like, it's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in the peach though. This I got from my friend Valerie in a box swap. I think it was last, in the beginning of the year. Last year, I don't think it was the one that I got in September. I think it was the one in February or March last year. I don't know. But this is one of the best blushes ever. It's what I have on me today. I don't know if you can see it. It's easy to build up. It, it's so creamy. It's so good. I really like this Beer Minos blush. It's my stamp. It's, my, it's something I just feel like I'm going to be sad if I ever get if, if this disappears. I just love this blush so, so, so much. I love it, enjoy it, and I'm so creamy, guys. This is so creamy. I can honestly say that this is the two blushes I've been using. If I don't use this uh, from Bare Minerals, I go in with Natasha Denona. I just love these blushes. I try to go back with other blushes that I have because I have many, but I always, always go now, nah, let's go with something safe. Uh, this is a beautiful, and the best, I have my leg up here, guys, um, my feet is hurting, so I have my leg up. I hope it doesn't bother you. But the best brush to blend this cream blush, but also apply this powder blush, is this. This is uh, BH Cosmetics blush number two. This is so beautiful to apply this cream blush with and also go in with this powder blush. I'm going to try show you now. It blends blush so nice. I'm going to go into this blush, apply it on my brush and go directly on top. Can you see? It blends 
the and applies this cream blush like a dream and it works with cream product and it works with dry or powder product it's really nice i love this blush a blush brush i feel like i need to order more i think this came in a set but i'll see if i can purchase it by itself because i feel like i need more i love bh cosmetics brushes they are wonderful really really good br brush for the blush i forgot to tell you guys the best uh, brush for the bronzer is this one this is morphe and jacqueline hill gh02 also comes in us this is dirty because i'm using this really applies the bronzer like a dream really like this br brush it's big it's what i like it's not round so it goes very nice and i go in like this on with my bronzer it blends bronzer like a dream i love this brush and i feel like i these two brushes i can't live without when it comes to my face now for the eyeshadow I love many brushes, but the one that I can't live without is this one. Where is it? This is the Sosu and Kayla Esco O2. It's like a blending brush, but it's not all round. This applies eyeshadows like a dream. It blends in my crease. It blends the edges. It's just a perfect brush. We, without these three, I can't live. This, this is my holy grail brushes. I love them so, so much. And a face brush that I really like go in on top with um, another product that I've been using a lot is this Hourglass Palette Ambient Lighting Lightning Palette Dim Edition with this powder all over the face with this brush and just just go all over my face. I love this brush and this is Technique. It's a cheap powder brush. But I do like it. It's not the softest brush, but it's worth the money. I've used it all the time and I can't live without it. I also go in with my setting powder when I baked uh, and I will go in with that because I do go heavily in with the powder. I do go on top with this one just to uh, take off the excess and maybe apply a little bit more. I don't know. I just like this brush. So these three, four brushes is something that I always need to have with me. Um, I felt like I'm jumping between things, <laughs> but okay. So I told you about this, but I also like to go in. I'm not using the blush a lot. I don't know why. Sometimes it makes my pores more exaggerated, but I go in with this highlighter in here and this gives me very nice, healthy sheen. I like this highlighter up going when I want that natural shine, but also more highlighters that I'm using a lot this year is the cookie from benefit that i showed you before but also i got this palette from nikia joy cosmetics luxury highlighting palette illuminate illuminate i don't know if i pronounce this right this is nikia joy's palette this is a very good palette i like it so much that i ordered one for my sister for her birthday i really like uh, this palette this one broke so it's a little bit messy but i just love these highlighters a lot i've been using them a lot a lot a lot um, they are creamy they are nice they go on like butter they stay on the face the whole day i just love these highlighters so if you haven't tried these you need to because it's so good but some another, another product that, that i've just started using is jacqueline hill palette yes i ordered it i said i wouldn't but i did this is the flash palette and <laughs> they are so nice i thought that i would review this on my channel but i didn't it's expensive it's nice i love the package i don't need to talk about it. the mirror is amazing in here these are all of them work for me this one is a little bit too dark for me right now but i do mix it with the lightest shade these are like a dream i don't know if you can see them but let me apply them a little bit more i think i have a mixture let me show you. I'll mix these two together. You can see it, but this is like a dream. It's like a dream. I just love these highlighters. I like Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics so far. I mean, I did bought the lipsticks, was a disaster. I'm kind of sad because I love the shades. 
and I hope she will re she will release the lipsticks again in the future. Definitely purchase them. I was really happy that she that she released the highlighters because she's a highlighter queen. She uses a lot of highlighters. She likes highlighters. She knows what she's doing. I was happy to be able to purchase this one. So I do really like them and I do recommend them. If you want me to show you more or talk about it more, let me know down below and I will do so. But I do enjoy that. Okay, so what do we have left? Lip products. Mascara. No. No. Eyeshadow. Okay. So it's very hard for me to pick out one or two eyeshadow palettes that are the best. I can't do that. I have at least 10 eyeshadow palettes that I think are beautiful and that, and that I will definitely use this year. But I will show you three very fast, but I am going to do a video with my 10 best palettes for, from 2019. So I'll definitely do that. But right now, I want to show you first. I do like Kaya Cosmetics. I've been uh, talking about it a lot. This is the first palette that they released. It's Bibs uh, Favorites. It's a nude palette. It's one of the most used palettes I have in my collection. I just love these. These are butter buttery. They're creamy. They're nice. They, are blend they blend like a dream. Very pigmented. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Just love every makeup look I created with this palette, so like it. The other palette I've been talking about a lot on my channel is So So and Kayla Urban Bible palette, eyeshadow palette. It's, it is just the best palette. I love, this is one of my favorite shades in this palette, uh, this dark red, uh, because when you blend it, you get this nice pink shade. I mean, just beautiful palette. I love this palette. Also most used palette. For 2019. But one palette that I'll be using a lot uh, these two months is the Tati Beauty palette. It's dirty. I've been using it a lot. It's um it's what I have on my eyes today. It is beautiful. I've used these glitters a lot. It is a beautiful palette. So beautiful. And I can't wait to see the next palette, eyeshadow palette that she is going to release because this formula is amazing. I really like 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 this palette a lot. Um, like I said, it's what I have on my eyes today. And I am going to, I am coming out soon with a makeup look, a couple of makeup looks with this palette because I still haven't reviewed it because I'm trying it a lot. But I also like the Jeffree Star shade Dawson's palette. I have other palettes that I really like. So I am going to come out with a video with my at least 10 eyeshadow palettes that I loved 2019. Um, but I just wanted to show you a couple of them if you're interested. A brow product that I've used a lot last year and I that, that I got, I think it was in one of my subscription boxes. Can't remember which one, but I haven't heard about this brand before. Uh, this is Saffron. Yeah, Saffron Definer. And this is in shade 03. It has a spool in one side. And it has like a triangle pen. This shade, it's maybe not the best shade for me. I mean, the best lip lip pens are these two. Look, they are very similar. The LA Girl, the flesh is this one. And then we have the next one is that I talked about before. It's, I can't pronounce this, Illumascure. They're similar shade as my lip line. And when I go with them, just oh, make my lips a little bit bigger, overline, it makes my lips look bigger and natural, bigger, beautiful. And then I go in with lip gloss, um, dust of colors over the top that Rocky Christy Beauty talked about a lot on her channel. She made me curious and I like it. It's so glossy. It's so nice. Uh, the glitter, you can't feel it on the lips. If you rub your lips together, you can feel them, but it doesn't bother, it bother me. It's what I have on my lips today, but also on top, I just try and in the last month, couple of months I've been using Fenty Beauty's one. They are amazing. One of the best. It makes your lips also have it together with this one on my lips. It makes my lips so juicy. And I tried this packaging. I bought this. I can't find the, the other um I have a mini gloss bomb collection. I bought this collection and the there you get five shades. You get the Pretty Flesh, Fussy, Confetti, Hot Chocolate, and Cheeky. 
Now cheeky and hot chocolate, it's what I have here in front of me. The other three shades are in my purse, in my jacket. I use them every day. They are very good. They make your, my lips look juicy, big, beautiful. I need to reapply it, but it's very nice. The, these on top of the lip liners, best combination ever. I got this LA girl from my friend Valerie and this other one in one of my subscription boxes and I've been loving them too. They are very similar shades. So sometimes I just pick one that is in front of me. I like it a lot. Mascaras that I've been using um, this year or last year. NYX were the Hype Mascara that I got in one of my calendars. I like it a lot. And this uh, Girl Dam Too Faced. This is so much better than Better Than Sex Mascara. Better Than Sex Mascara smudged under my lower lash line. It made my eyelashes look beautiful, but it's smudged. This one doesn't smudge. Um, doesn't make me look like a raccoon, but it's a beautiful. It's though uh, not my favorite formula because it's too thick. It's a little bit hard to apply. And the uh, eye brush or look how big this one is. So it's a little bit harder to apply, but I really like it. I like those clumpy eyelashes, so it doesn't bother me. There are other mascaras that I tried last year that I did enjoy. I mean, Kaya Cosmetics are nice. The problem with them is that they, after using them, maybe like a two like two weeks, they start smudging under my lower lash line. I also do like the Bad Girl Bang Benefit Mascara, also a nice mascara. The product that is not makeup, deodorant. This is natural deodorant from Schmitz. Schmitz, I don't know if I pronounce this right. Rose plus vanilla. Natural deodorant. Uh, I really Caitlin Light talk about talked about this product. Schmitz charcoal and magnesium mineral enriched natural deodorant. In one of her haul videos, I think a while ago, or it was one of her favorite. Doesn't matter, but she really liked it, and I did order it. Some of the people commented on her video that, and she did talked about in another video that she this one because it's black, it leaves like a black residue. On the arms or make the underarms darker that's not true she, she did say in the video that she stopped using it because she was afraid of that but it doesn't do my underarms are not darker than they were so just want to tell you guys it maybe did happen to some people but it didn't happen to me and i was looking for and when i was experimenting because I wanted to prove that, I want to see if that's true. So it didn't really work. But I did like this one. Then I went and bought the other scent. This is Rosen and Vanilla that I like a little bit more. Then This is a nice scent, but I like this one a little bit more. It lasts more on my body. It smells like roses, but really nice roses. Not that old kind of perfumey scent. This is very fresh and sweet. I like it a lot. So this has been my favorite uh, natural deodorant. So I, that really lasted lasts on my skin uh, because um, I've been trying na na uh, natural deodorants and I've been liking uh, the nude one a lot but it doesn't have a nice scent and I don't want it to try more because I do get bored of using the same product even if there is a primer or eyeshadow palette or mascara or a foundation or any product at all if I use it a lot day after day after day after day after day and really liking it and enjoying it I get bored I mean, I really get tired of the product. I still love it. I still like it a lot. I still want to use it, but something in me just tells me, try something else. You know, I just like to experiment. I just like to try new products and I'm enjoying doing so. And I think that was everything, guys. No, one more product. Jeffree Star made me buy this. This is Cinnamon Secret Pro Cosmetic Makeup Brush Cleanser. Expensive. Expensive. I go through this very fast. I did order this on Beauty Bay when they, uh, when um, when I saw Jeffree Star talking about this in a couple of videos last year, in the beginning of the last year. This is one of the best brush cleansing product ever. I did put it in, in a smaller spray bottle just because it, it's easier for me to spray on an eyeshadow brush and just clean it. The, I, the brushes dry very fast and they get clean. So I like this. I need to just tell you guys that it's a good product. Just a good product. 
Okay, guys, um, if you want to know more of the products, specific products, maybe I'm going to do eyeshadow, best eyeshadow 2019 video. If there is any pro other products you want me to talk about, more, maybe the lip products, maybe uh, face palettes, maybe eyebrow products or um, skin, um, skincare products, perfume, are there any videos you want me to do or, or products? Or do, or are you curious about the product and you want me uh, to talk about it or tell you what I think about it? If you know that I tried it, let me know down below and I will do so, guys. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting me, showing me so much love. It means a lot to me. And there are definitely other products that I loved last year, but I just can't remember now. I'll tell you if I remember, but I can't remember it now. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.